Hi Kieran, you're probably looking forward to playing at home on Saturday after the long trip last weekend. How are we gearing up to face Roslyn Park? Um, it's, it's been a good week. Um, you know, we were frustrated obviously uh, up, up at Darlington, you know, second in a row we've lost their last kick of the game. Um, at the end we, we did enough to, to get a draw out of it, I think that probably wouldn't have been a fair result but quite honestly we weren't we weren't good enough for the in the first half in particular. Um, you know, and uh, you know, again we've asked ourselves some some tough questions during the week. Um, you know, trained well on Tuesday. Hopefully, have another good session tonight, and you know, just keep striving to get better. They lost their last game to Isha and drew the game before to Chinna, so they'll be looking for a win. Are you expecting any surprises from them? Um, I, don't, I don't know. I think I was you know surprised that they lost to, to Isha last week. Um, yeah, they've been going well up to that point. Chinna, obviously. You know, a decent side as well, and you know, watching both the games, you know, Roslyn were maybe you know, will struggle to figure out how they lost to Isha. They had a lot of possession and, and looked very dangerous. Um, and you know, it, I'm sure that you know, that will be the same again this week. You know, our home record hasn't been as good as we'd have liked it to have been this year. Um, you know, and you know, they'll maybe be targeting a, you know, to try and get a win down here. I know, like you say, the results have been a bit frustrating and close, um, as you've also said, and we're not far away. What's the missing piece of the jigsaw right now? Um, I think a little bit of a little bit more leadership, a little bit more composure under pressure. Um, you know, we had a couple of chances to score from five metres out against Darlington uh, in the first half that we didn't take, which ended up you know, costing us at the back end of the game. And yeah, you know, we, a lot of young guys who were good players, and you know, they're just making. You know, one or two incorrect decisions, one or two individual errors at key times in games, and, and that's what's costing us. So it's about having a bit more cohesion and just a, a few more calmer heads and, and making sure we make the right decisions at the right times. You've got a slightly bigger squad this week. However, um, how many changes have you made? Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got a few guys back from Exeter off of A-League duty, um, and uh, that certainly helps out with our training. Uh, it means we're going to be a lot more competitive in training. Uh, Team-wise, uh, Tegan picked up a and adductor strain at the weekend, so so he comes out. Dino slots across to 13, and, and Connor comes back in at 12. Um, and apart from that, I think we're, we're pretty similar to where we were. We're only a few games off halfway. Where would you like us to be at the end of the season? Um, you know, we set a few goals as, as a team. Um, you know, short term, short term, medium term, up to Christmas about where we want to be. Um, you know, those, those will stay probably within the group. For me, you know, l looking sort of on the edge of it. Um, you know, I just want us to keep getting better every week. Um, you know, the league's still really tight. Um, you know, three or four wins on the bounce puts you right back up there, and you know, that, that's what we're looking to do ultimately. Do you, do you believe that the tides are going to change after we've had an unpredictable start? It will all start coming together. <laughs> uh, I'd like to think so. Uh, I was, you know, me and Dan were, were toting up the other day. I think we've had six games that we've lost by less than the score. Um, you know, so if we were losing by 30, 40, 50 points every week, we'd be more concerned. Um, yeah, it's about getting the, the finer detail right and, and making a couple of better decisions here or there that will hopefully swing games in our favour. Okay, so just for your information, the first game we ever played against Roslyn Park was in 1922, right. according to um, our very own Mr. Fuge. Yeah. Um, was he beat, playing in that game? I don't think he's quite that old. <laughs> um, but we did beat them 10-5, right. so um, hopefully we'll get the same result on Saturday, so good luck. Great, cheers.